Hello, this is Crap Hunter, and welcome back to the Rome Total War series. In the last episode, we did a bunch of stuff. Um, first of all, we were able to capture uh, Segesta. I'm going to call it Segesta. Um, then also, we started to make a push against Olbia um, at the whim of our blooming Senate. But ha wa hey, um, we've also decided to make loads of trading agreements. And I am loving it so far. So, now, um, let's just go on to the next turn. Oh. Just to make sure I'm loaded in. Yes, I am loaded in at the right time. Let's save. So, we've been doing a fair amount. I mean, you know, obviously it's not like a crap ton, but, you know, we've been doing a fair amount within our first few, within our first few games. Sorry, turns. And, um, oh, come on. Who... I don't really want to do that. <laughs> With one unit you can recruit. No. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Not yet, at least. And excuse me, why are you there? Why is there a Gallic guy there? Hang on. Who's at my base? Um, army. We've got reinforcements. Manius Julius. He is political animal, feeling poorly, poor trader, inferior engineer. Rest oh, God. He's just... He's just useless, isn't he? He's got an understanding of tactics. And he is... Uh, this kid just seems like a waste of space. I'm taking him back to our ETM. And I'll send my cavalry <laughs> that the Senate had spent so much cash on. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about... <clears throat> I'm a little concerned about. Units that um, have suffered losses in battle. Right, I'm gonna make sure that she's not there. Repair complete. Albia. Ah, good. Right, okay. So now, the Carthaginian navy is quite pissed at us, and we've got some nasty things. What's our recruitment report going? We've retrained all of our grouping soldiers, and diplomatic informations are now SPQR are now all with each other. I'm not surprised. That's probably why they want me to be their um, bloody. So Gaul have broken their alliances, Scythia and Dacian. Right, okay, well, I'm not going to go to war with Gaul just yet, because we've got a couple of areas I want to secure before we start capping um, against the Gauls. Mainly these two islands here, because if I control those, not only will I have two settlements in which um, I can... Um, First of all, get trading, you know, get, get the ability to earn more money from the gold. I'll also be able to have them as HQs and, you know, being able to hold on to... <laughs> Love it. Um, I'll be able to um, have them as fortresses. So, you know, it's, there are bonuses to this. The only problem is, though, is the fact that... Oh, uh, I have heard advice from friends. So, I think next will be paved roads. You know, I got a bit of feedback in the last episode, so taking that in. Um, we can't really build anything. Oh, I can have a super high, very high tax rate. Huzzah. And that's a very high tax rate as well. And Ascolom is still building its thing. I'm going to save cash and not... Apparently it's a good idea to do that, so I'm going to kind of keep it to... Units that have suffered... Oh, shush you. I will, like, get rid of that advice pretty soon. I will try and get rid of it as fast as I can. Right, population is 846. I love it. Even though I'm at a high tax rate, it still has 2% growth. I love it. Um, I kind of want to do a bit of scouting. Sir. So, I'm going to put my general here. 
and build a tower. Is there anyone I can recruit? Oh, I can. Um, I think mercenary hoplites would be of assistance. And I'm going to go back. Members of your faction's ruling family develop character traits that... Right, okay, retinue and expands. He's a mercenary camp. There you go. Everyone's happy again. Um, because that's going to be there in one turn, I suppose I could go... Actually, no. Grab that, grab that, and then grab some papers. Nope. Just one. We only need one. Um, and then... Once we've constructed the roads and the f and the sewers, then uh, shrine to Ceres, happiness, yeah, shrine to Jupiter. I'm gonna kind of keep my Jupiter shrines at the moment because make sure that people are happy. Um, because we're on a very high tax rate, I suppose a couple of sewers wouldn't be so so bad. If Gaul starts fighting me, though, I will take the fight back to them. It'll just mean that I have to be extra careful around Suggesta and um, Arminium because neither of the areas have a decent army, but we are constructing a militia barracks and we are getting extra... We can build units here as well, but we can also start building a financial thing, so we're getting there slowly, so... <clears throat> Drops water today. Okay. <clears throat> Did I say you had permission to walk through Your here? Honor. What are you doing? Your Honor. Without the I think I'm going to start being a bit cheeky and asking for... Oh, come on, you lazy git! Okay, profits. We are slightly more profitable than we are normally. Eh! We now have Zuber! 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 Oh... So, the Senate hates the Gauls, the Scipii hate the Gauls, it will only be a matter of time, or do they already hate the Gauls? Because I'm kind of keeping it peacefully. Um, I wonder what they think of the Gauls. Should be disputed at any opportunity. I love it. And they are already at war with the Gauls. So, yeah, I'm the only person who's... My um, family is the only family that are keeping the Gauls um, at bay. Right, Aretium. After that, it'll be built. I'll put some farms out. Noble master? I am going to construct and... No, no, I can't, can I? Balls. Um, I can recruit... Uh, I'll recruit a couple of Hastari, and because they're so cheap, I'll get Esslinger Auxilia. So, the enemy ca enemy base is there. The enemy house, the the Carthaginians have their town, which is there. Um, unfortunate. I mean, we've actually, we've got a spy. I might do that the next turn. Um... So we can recruit a couple of important people. The Shut up. Oh, God, I keep forgetting to do that thing. Sorry. Right, I will try and figure out a way of getting rid of her. Oh, actually, no. Um, what is it? Game options. No. Yeah, I'll have that, because that's quite nice. I'll put it at, like, low. So that way she can't be, be nagging and nagging. And whenever it comes to like major importance, then maybe. Wow, look at that. Flavius Julius. He's pretty much what I would call the ideal Roman. Because he's got good commander, commander talent, commander defense, consume, comms, consuming politician, skilled bureaucrat, stern, uh, night fighter, which is what I would love. You see, that's a rarity. If he could have more children who liked to fight at night, I would be grateful because it's such a fantastic thing. Oh. Um, right, okay. And the general who's at 47, who's here, is it Quintus Julius? Yes, it is Quintus Julius. What a legend that this man is. <clears throat> How old is he? 
He's only 36, so he's in his prime. And I'll be sending him down south to attack once we've got our spy inbound to see how strong the defences are. Because if there are loads of strong defences, what's this? I'll lower the tax rate and give out more food production so that way these people are happier. That and I'll also give him a couple of toilet rolls and uh, toilet seats to make them feel Your better. Honor. So, um, save Roma. Now, I'm not really sure as to what the Gauls intend to do, because so far they're just pissing off the rest of the Roman people. And... Right, he's gone. Yeah, well, to be honest, I'm not likely to be um, getting it, so that's why I'm not doing it! Ha ha ha! Ascalum. Now you're a minor city because you've got a fancy schmancy thing. Um, you haven't got any paved roads, have you? Well, that's your next thing then. And then we can get your markets going. Right, we have a spy now. Hopefully you won't be a crappy spy. Secrecy is assured. Hello. Your honor. Secrecy is assured. Moves depleted, sir. Right, okay. Now we have an understanding as to where the hell the enemy are. Um I'll have that as well pretty soon. So, large town has wooden walls, only three groups of infantry, and we've only got one group. We could totally attack this place within like a few turns. So, what is my army? That is my army. Right, you. Um, we won't even need that much actually. We could take over the town with. Okay. Right, you. You. Save the cav because we won't need it. I'll take the Veltes and him, them, them. And. Yeah, that should be enough, generally. Should be enough. Lower the tax rate. No. Send your army into a forest and they'll wait to ambush. Orders. Right. Prepare to attack. Forward. No more moves, sir. And why not? Three peltas is better than no peltas. It's a damn sight better. Three peltas is better than two, and it's a damn sight better than none, so I like it. Oh. Engage the enemy! There we go. So next turn, we'll capture... Well, okay, but the next two turns, we'll start capping this location. And it will be quite fun. Yes. Right, who do we not have trading diplomacy with? We still are enemies with Numidia, and of course the rebels are hating our guts. Um... I will send my general... Honor. Actually, I think what I want to do is I want to see go to the Gaulic town and start negotiating with them without delay no more moves uh, I think what I'll do is I'll negotiate those those guys to see whether that how large their territory expansion is because we have got another we've got I think the same amount of settlements as the Bruti I have one two three four um, one, two, three, four, oh, five. So we have a little bit more territory than the Brutii. Scipii are having their asses handed to them because they can't cap um, Syracuse or um, the Carthaginian city. I mean, admittedly, they haven't got... I don't know. I mean, they, sh they haven't got quite an advantage because they're living 
right at the bottom. So theoretically speaking, they should be able to cap a good portion of the southern regions of um, the Italian waters. I always feel that if you control the Mediterranean along this side, you have a very, very, very good trading. Anyway, so, in turn. So Macedon, Seleucids, I'm completely loving this game, because so far, I've only got one bad guy to focus on, and I like focusing on only one bad guy. Orders. Right, have they made themselves stronger? Yes, they have. They have got Spearmen, Iberian Infantry, so we haven't got much time Engage before we the enemy. Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. And, no, there's nothing really we can do about this. At your service. So what I'm going to do now is Secrecy I'm going to put my general shine in. Secrecy is assured. Out of moves, so sir. How much cash are we earning? Not much, unfortunately. Um, land clearance, though, at Olbia means that they will have more money. Hastari in Aritium and an auxilia slinger will be produced. And then I will send them over to Suggesta. Noble master. I'm going to go find out. I'm going to find out. I'm going to offer ours. We have nothing to offer in return. Okay. Just that then. Okay, so they won't really want to tell. They don't really want to tell us where they live. Um, <clears throat> Fair enough. We've won, we've won two battles. Thankfully, not lost any. Um, we're going to run out of the time to get Massa, but I'm not going to war with Gaul yet because Gaul. I've got to take over Karolis and the Carthaginian town. And then what I can do is I can totally cap. Um, Alessa, besides, they've got a navy now, which is impressive. You think Gauls are like barbarous slaves and they're just stupid and they don't have any idea on what, how to lead an army. But then if you play this and you're like, shit, the Gauls knew what they were doing. Gauls are... Now they're blockading my forts. Okay, we are at war with them now. Good, sharp, and he's good. Yes. He's old, but he's good. I now we're going to war with the Gauls. Out of move, sir! Coming of AIDS. Decius Julius. Are you a... Oh. Again with the wimpy sons. Cassie's... Ah, yes. Orders. You. Yes. You are going to be a warrior. I will send you out onto the fields and take over Armenia. No more moves, and sir. you sir. are... Forward. No more moves, sir. Why is it I always get the wimpy kids? Sir. In the pink. Okay, so he's alright for that. He's good at defending. The vein that constantly of his seething temper. He's good at building. He's not so good at trading. Um, frugal. He doesn't really want to... Well, wow, you can totally hire those people, gladiators, mercenaries, how good are they? Very. How expensive are they? Very. Beyond elite. Um, dang. General. We will. Well, diplomatic information. Yes. Well. I captain. So what we'll do is we'll attack. We'll then start making our move towards Arminium. Right. Okay. Now we're at war with the Gauls. Not really what I wanted to um, do, but as. Okay. There. Oh, they've got a general, haven't they? Nope, 
That's my general. In coastal settlement. In coastal settlement. Engage the enemy. Right, okay, here we go. We're gonna start capping. Hopefully they haven't got like a fancy schmancy wall, just a bit of sticks. We outnumber them by a bit, but we're not outnumbering them by a lot. So fingers crossed this works out for us. And this settlement shall be Roman. The stern face and that guy to the left is like... The auspices have been taken, and gods be praised, nothing can be found to deny us victory today. With such portents, we need only march upon the enemy. Right. Siege equipment is I really, deployed. really wish that guy never gave advice. Hello, what's this? Recent ruins of camp, maybe? Um... I wouldn't think you guys need to be in the ram. I think mercenaries... Because, you know, you guys... Huh. Right, okay. You guys will form the first contingency wave. Velites will go second. Uh, we'll go right behind these guys because... Um, kind of a standard deployment. And the general will take up defensive positions behind them. Move. Move through the gate. Melody has got it. Unit. Ram. Actually, drop the ram. Leave the ram. Has got it. Take up the ram. I think it, I'm just thinking about it. Probably it would make more sense. This is why Rome conquered loads, because they took their time. I never see the reason to run my men when I don't need to. I mean, some people, I mean, I've also picked this up, but I always find that if you can take your time with some things, I find you can have a lot more of an organized Our battle. soldiers have reached the gates with a um, battering ram. I find that you can have a lot more organization with a battle than it is when you've just got um, loads of people running in like barbarians. Some tactics obviously favor the quick attacker. Our soldiers but, have um, done their work well. The battering ram has broken through the gate. Right. Now some people were like, oh now you got to quickly get him. But now what you do, you redeploy the guys behind. Get the Velites and the Peltas to move into position quickly. And they should start firing any second now. Yes, they will. So now they're taking any so now they're taking some fire.
because as my men prepare to move into the position, we'll have those guys obviously coming in to try and react. These guys will then start firing. So, Our soldiers have captured the walls! Now is the time to press on and capture this place! multiple ways for them to get out, so what we want to do is we're going to cut off their retreat along this line. You guys will form the defensive position. Yeah. Um, Velites will set up defense. Velites will set up the positions behind the guys, but we'll probably have to reorganize the army somehow. Um, those guys are still shaking, so they might present a threat, but they are in the position to engage. In fact, we might just counter charge them right now. So these guys are still fresh. I think my musical stuff is still about 35, should do. And throw. <laughs> and that is what you call a nice shot. <laughs> well done. Absolutely fantastic work, my friends. Well done. Definitely something which is great. Right, okay. So now the Carthaginians really know that they're coming, that, that their doom approacheth. They have got, what, the remainder of their units are, okay, now they've got two spearmen and one more um, swordsman. So there is, fancy guard. Um, there is still a bit of problems. What's this? Temple of Little Quart. And obviously that's a militia barracks. See, this is the thing I like about this game, is that all the buildings you construct in the campaign actually show up in the in the game, in the like the other game. So the campaign map as well. Because where is the mountains? Is the mountains to the north, or did I just come that way? No, we came from this way, so it's further up there. In the distance, you, you'll probably be able to see like the settlement that I captured a few years ago, sort of thing. And it's just like, oh, that's so cool. Um, I might set up my general if I oh there's only one way oh no there's a flanking way there is a flanking way it just means I've got to be careful because there's not many access ways into the into the center now is there I think I'll just set my cavalry up to go that way um well obviously I'm gonna set these send these guys along here And these guys will set up along this flank um, here. Try and keep those guys. The Peltists, I don't really know. Um, I think I'll keep, like, maybe the guys who fired the least amount of shots here. But maneuverability wise, they're not really going to be too much of They're not going to be of much use. So. People over. Sorry, mate. Ah, frickin'. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, I, 
Okay, I see, I see, I see. Can I, can I get away with it here? Can I? And are you going to be complete enough to twallops and go the wrong way? Yes, of course you will. One thing you got to note that in towns in Rome, Total War, the most sensible route, you'd think, right, because this area has bad guys in it, we'll go around, but no. <laughs> it, it's totally the opposite. Right, these guys now start making the push. Guys, try and get around to here. Set up, set up the charge here. I was like, oh shit! Question is, can they set up? Completely exhausted. My men are just like mine and my own. Okay, how are you guys doing? They're still warmed up. Okay, now we can start setting up defensive attacks. Uh, winded. Right, we've capped the gateway. We've capped the other gateway. Right, my men are setting up. And the Romans are like, no. And, are oh, they getting closer? No, they're not. Bang! No chance. Right, is my general in position? Yes, they are. Right, okay. Now we can start sending these guys. So whilst my general is recovering... Oh, he's completely fresh again. Oh, that's fantastic. Right, now we can maybe commit to the fight a bit more. So everyone runs. What I want to do is I want these guys to start getting shot at by these guys. Um, so now obviously those guys are setting up. We're now having to really quick move into position. Once the spear infantry start to take defensive positions, then that's when... Um, so if those guys could all right, they're not gonna do it. strike on these guys, but obviously these guys are taking their time. We've got to like pull in and pull out. So the enemy spearmen. I will hit those guys first. They're like, huh? I always hate for doing, hate for having in fights because obviously I don't want to have to um, turn it into a massive slugfest because then you can see all these guys will become tired when um, these guys are still fresh. So a couple occasional camera and anvil strikes. This one guy's like, "I'll take you all on," and then he realizes he's not going to have any backups. It's like, "Wait for me, guys! I didn't mean it." And there's a villain say, "He's like, come on." I'll take you all on. And bang, there goes God their general. Be praised. The enemy general is dead. Right. His men know their doom approaches. Now everyone gets into it. And they all go crazy with those things. If we can get those spearmen into heavy engagement, then those guys who are watching half my... There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Because now 